Hello everybody, welcome to the student shop today. Um, so, I forgot where I parked. So basically today is a reflection of the daily grind, so to speak, or the unglamorous side of what we're doing. And that a lot of times it's fun to talk about the big picture ideas, but when it comes down to it, all that is, is working in the shop every day. And so, that's what we did today. We want to show the, the daily side of it and what it's really like on the daily basis. For Ian and Neil and for Alicia, it's standing up at the machines. And so that's what Alicia did for most of the day today was work on a conflat piece that we're going to use. But I, I think that's an important thing to show as well. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, still is interesting. There still, still should be some fun things to learn um, from today's video. Uh, please enjoy. Thanks for watching. What do we got today? New, new toys, new toys. Yeah, new toys. Well, the new funny, toys? It's like it's Something addressed to shit to my house. I don't oh, remember yeah. ever bringing this here. Oh, I do remember kind of ordering these, but I have no idea how this box landed in the point, shit yeah, you, <laughs> you never brought it from your house to here? I had to. But it's like, how did that even happen? And, this thing it, was just, and it was sitting yeah, up on top of the on the, uh, the, the block over there. That's what's really good. So what was inside it? These are edge finders for zeroing your work on your mill. So what we haven't had here is an edge finder with point on it. So this thing is just kind of spring loaded, so it'll float around. So if you already were working on something, you can stick this in your hole, and then you move your mill table to where that's perfectly smooth all the way around. And then you know you're zeroed on that hole. Nice. Yeah. And then what are we doing on this piece? So this is uh, the comp flat that we got uh, stepping over in the NanoFab lab. And the ERC uh, helped us find this. So we have our beer cake chamber. And uh, so this is something that uh, was part of a bigger vacuum system. Uh, Alicia there, she already went ahead and she sliced this end off the end. We're trying to preserve as much of the stainless steel here as we can so we don't have to weld the new collar on. So we've got to slice this end off and then if you remember on the keg chamber, so like here's the side of the beer keg. So we have the beam comes in, here's where we put our sodium iodide detector, there's the turbo pump and there's our gauge. This is going to go on the end of this thing. So it's going to slide on the end of that keg we're going to uh, finish repairing that, uh, that valve we got from Barry. And that'll go on here and that'll be our sample loading. We'll be right through this guy right okay. here. Okay, so that's where we'll put in the sample. Yeah. It's, this will make it. It's, be it's like an access easier. port. Yeah. So what we need to do right now is we've got to finish getting this end cut off. And we almost, me and Carmen almost got through it, but not quite. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to repair that valve over there today. And then uh, we're going to start thinking about what kind of schedule we want to pull this end off. Yeah. But for today, so you guys are carving this down. Yep, getting this end off, and then we're gonna take that valve that, so those valves cost a fortune, and uh, Barry gave us uh, the valve for free because on the inside is what's called the frog leg, and it just wore out, the metal literally just broke off. Huh. So we took that, we machined out the part that was bad on it, we built a new piece, we take welded that on, we didn't take welded, but ETS take welded it on for us, and now we just gotta assemble the thing. And, uh, oh. We got a very expensive valve for like 20 bucks. <laughs> We're pretty happy about it. That's how we do it. And this comp lab plant, same thing. Uh, the guys over in ERC and the NanoFab lab, they hooked us up with all these parts too. So, How much does one of those cost, would you say? It depends on who you're getting it from and if you're buying it new or not. And you're going to be paying over 100 bucks for it. And that's for a good used one. Uh, if you buy it brand new, then you know, and some of these guys, you can add a zero to that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll take it. You really want to help Alicia get the same set up and see if we figure out a good way to get that thing the rest of the way through? But it's working though. That sounds so much better than when me and Carmen were doing it the other day. Yeah, that was like the most ear piercing screech I've ever heard. Yeah. Okay. See, what this required was for Alicia to come in and show us how it's done. Nice job, Alicia. Yeah. That sound. Uh, what's happening there is Alicia's going into a, a groove that's kind of shaped like this. 
because that's uh, the cutter we use where like one side's flat the other side has an angle this thing wants to cut a square groove like this so the deeper she goes it's it's cutting into more and more of that stainless that she's cutting into that thing um, and so it's that's why you get the bird call the yeah. amazon bird call that's right <laughs> That's still way better than what we were doing the other day. Yeah, that was awful. Oh. oh. <laughs> it seriously sounds like a bird chirping. <laughs> Except like, you know, order of magnitude higher decibel levels. Yeah. Hey, there you oh. go. There's the halo. Is that thing hot? Yeah, fantastic. So what Alicia will do now is she's going to clean up these edges a little bit and then uh, this guy's uh, going to be about ready to weld on. And that goes in the scrap pile. Yeah, that's hot. I bet it is. Ooh. Yeah. So you're probably going to have to make these through holes. So you're probably going to have to drill all these out. So right now Jerry is helping out Alicia with the con flat that she's working on. Jerry is the shop manager shop runner he's the guy that teaches new students how to use the equipment he's definitely a master at all of this stuff he knows so much so having him here is a huge help he's the master because alicia is good at what she does for sure but there's always new things to learn and so he's helping her get the con flat set up all figured out so it looks like all of these holes are threaded and so in order to attach this to uh the other valve they're gonna, Alicia's gonna be drilling through these at a slightly bigger hole to get rid of all of the threads. So it's just a, a clean, clean hole. And this is quite the complex system to like do that. <laughs> so it's a three points of contact, he said. So this is just yeah, to make sure. Three, he said three uh, is the max. Three is the maximum. And that's just to make sure it doesn't rotate. Mm -hmm. She's going to be putting clearance holes through all of those threaded holes. So that'll make uh, some interesting sounds while it's uh, being drilled. <laughs> really? Okay. Anytime you have interrupted cuts like that, it tends to uh, want to jump around and, and make interesting noises. to go. <laughs> um, 17. 17 holes. After the video ones, uh, 18. 18. What was the progress that you that you did today? We'll remove the, the threads on here. So, so you're able to get through all of them? Yeah. I just remove all the threads for all these holes. Nice. And so now if I understand correctly, now this is going to be able to attach to the valve, right? heavy okay so now th this can now attach onto there okay like this. cool we got that piece ready to attach to this valve here and then this is all going to attach to the beer keg yep. and the vacuum aka the, bottom, the vacuum on chamber. the bottom side of it watching the student shop today um, appreciate your time appreciate your participation um, today was fixing up the con flats and getting that all set up take care and we'll see you in the next video later